How's it going, lads? Marshall here, and welcome back to another review on the channel. Today, we've got a flashback in the shape of Sammy Kadira. The Juventus man, he's not really in his prime right now, but he used to be in his prime. That's why we're flashbacking to a, a kind of a prime era within his career. So, we're going to review Sammy Kadira today and see what he's like in FIFA 21 Ultimate Team. So, if you do enjoy, you know what to do. Bring that type, smash that like, subscribe to the channel if you are brand new around here. Make sure you hit that notification bell as well. Stay in touch with each and every single upload that I do drop on the channel. And uh, in terms of the league on SBC, we've got Bamba. Bamba looks good. It looks amazing. It looks fantastic. Do you reckon the price of Bamba is fair? It's like 300 plus, 350 plus. Uh, do you reckon that's fair? Let me know in the comment section below. Uh, that's probably the question of the day. Also, uh, is Kadira worth? He's 140 on the Xbox, 140 on the PlayStation. Uh, and that is why I'm doing this review. Because he, he's a little bit cheap-ish. You won't get a card like this. There's, there's no doubt about that. You won't get the cards with these stats or anything like that. It's it's similar to like an Axel Beatsell type of version uh, of the card. He's actually got really good shooting as well. Um, which you'll see during the review. You'll see everything I do talk about during the review. And like I did say, if you do enjoy... Smash a like. So in terms of the position that you'll play in game, he's actually going to play CDM. 14-3-1 as a CDM, which allows him to get forwards and allows him to defend at the same time. So I see the best of both worlds right there, defensively and offensively. He's got medium and medium work rate, so he's not exactly going to be everywhere. He's going to cover a lot of ground, there's no doubt about that. But he won't put his all into defending. He's not going to put his all into attacking. He's going to put some into defending and attacking uh, with the medium to medium work rate. So his positioning is key. And I've got to say, his positioning is flawless. Uh, he's got two star skin moves and a four star weak foot to help with his passing. Because uh, his passing is gorgeous, man. Uh, he's six foot two, so he is actually quite uh, a, a unit. Uh, a, a, what was it, like a force in midfield or something like that? He is a force in midfield. When you look at his strength and aggression, he's got to be a force in midfield, man. 94 and 92. This card looks really good. And with a shadow chem style, it goes like a 93 rated center back, a 92 CDM. You know what I'm saying? From an 86 rated card. Uh, you can already see the downsides with this card straight away with the 70s. And I'm talking about the oranges. Uh, well, I'm not, not the free kick, actually. No one cares about that. It's acceleration and agility. Now, as a CDM, agility isn't that important, but it is important to uh, be able to turn and chase your man should uh, you be off foot. And acceleration helps with that as well. Acceleration uh, helps to catch up with your man. So, uh, in terms of the agility and acceleration combination, both being on the low side, it is... Uh, it's not pivotal how he plays, but uh, it is key into being a con with his cards. Acceleration... No bueno, hence why I did put a Shadow Chem style on him. His sprint speed is good. His sprint speed is good. Once he gets going, he's not exactly a slouch. Uh, 81 sprint speed he's got. Plus 10 on that with the Shadow Chem style, taking it to 91. His shooting is sensational for a midfielder on this game. Now, just finishing, scrap that. Don't even look at the finishing. If it was two, then you look at the finishing. But it's actually got 88 shot power, 73 finishing, 83. In terms of attacking position, 83 long shots and beliefs with 73 penalties. Passing. Is amazing with Sammy Kadira. 87 vision, 80 cross, 93 short pass, 90 long pass, and 71 curve. The dribbling I've been over the agility, he's got 72 balance, 88 reactions, and ball control with 87 dribbling, and 91 composure. Defensively, it's where it's mainly at with his cards. He's got 90 interceptions, 84 head and accuracy, 88 defensive awareness, and slide stand tackle with 81 slide tackle. He's 72 in terms of jumping, 81 stamina, 94 strength, and 92 aggression. You'd love to see things like that. Not things like that, just things like before. Uh, it's injury prone. That is the only trait that he does possess. Is him being vulnerable to injuries, which... Neither here nor there, really. So let's get into the gameplay. Let's join commentary Marshall. Commentary Marshall. Uh, yeah, let's let's join the commentary version of Marshall. And let's get into it. So here we go with commentary Marshall coming at you from well Marshall's house. So in terms of Sammy Kadiri, you see the lack of agility there. Normally they would have just stepped over. This guy literally jumped over the ball, um, which I, I did retain. Somehow I retained the ball in that scenario, but. Uh, again, normal if you press the right bumper when they're doing that and they've got like high agility, they'll just step over the ball. Uh, I, I don't know why he jumped it. I've got no idea. But I've got to mention with Kadira, his passing simply, simply uh, divine. It is so good. You see a pass with Sammy Kadira, you make the pass with Sammy Kadira. Apart from some certain occasions, uh, Mbappe going close here. I didn't get an assist with Sammy Kadira, but that's probably because the position that he was playing in. Uh, as he turns in, just spreads it to Pogba. It's almost effortless. Now, that doesn't look like a hard pass, but sometimes um, they can be quite difficult, especially if they've gotten like a heavy press or something like that. Uh, what you'll notice with Kadira 
is when he passes, and I don't do the one-two, uh, he steps back a couple of inches, a couple of yards. Uh, this allows him to create space to receive the ball back to uh, uh, find someone else to create different angles for the attack. And this is very, very useful. Sammy Kadira getting his foot in there. And that, getting his foot in there too. I don't know how I didn't retain the ball. In this game, he does really well here. Now, he's, he's kind of circling here in the defensive position. He has to push him off, fouls him. But again, he's always bustling. He's always getting in about people's business. And again, he gets a foot on that side tackle as well. I'll tell you that much. Uh, I don't know how I didn't get the ball from that. But uh, we, we do win the ball at the end of the day. with a nice block by Kamara. But um. Yeah, Sammy Kadira, he's got a lot going for him. And like, like I said, I, I like him defensively, love him defensively. Offensively, I kind of like him too. Defensive uh, attributes are sensational. His offensive attributes are great as well. Would he belong in a cam? No, he wouldn't be like an offensive player. But as a CM, a box to box, this guy is very, very dangerous because he possesses shot power, he possesses long shots, he possesses a threat in the opposition's area. So if he does get into an, like a chance, maybe like comparison, uh, Patrick Vieira. Normally, if Patrick Vieira gets in the penalty box, he's like a deer in the headlights. He doesn't know what to do with the football at his feet. Sammy Kadira, he's got the tools to able, to, well, to, yeah, to enhance his chances of scoring. So you can either pass the ball, you can shoot the ball, you can do what you want in those scenarios. Whereas if you've got a really, really, really defensive mind midfielder with a terrible, terrible shooting stats, You've got no chance. You've got no chance whatsoever. Sammy Kadira gets his foot in there. I've got to mention his tackling, lads. His tackling is nigh on sublime. It is so, so good. Stand tackle, 88. But what is key, and I'll stand by this till the end of the review, probably tomorrow, probably next day, pro probably forever, lads, uh, his defensive positioning. Defensive awareness is 88. Plus that, by five, it goes to 93. Quick mass with Marshall. Um, but honestly, it is so, so, so good, uh, that defensive positioning. Because, well, awareness, uh, but it's basically marking, basically he tracks the runs and he's more knowledgeable to the scenarios around him defensively or when your opponent is on the offense. I actually scored with uh, Kadira, but he was offside. But again, shows his shooting abilities is accurate. Great shot power, beats the keeper, back of the net, happy days. Uh, offsides, not happy days. Uh, basically, this guy's a really good card. I was surprised. I looked at Sammy Kadira flashback and uh, I, I let out, um, like, like uh, I don't know, an audible groan. Where it's like, oh, Sammy Kadira really, lads, he actually really, really did surprise me. So I'm glad I reviewed this card. I'm glad I got to experience this card. And I'm glad I get to share my opinions with you guys as well, as we do in a free kick. And that free kick signals the summary. Let's get into that. So there we have it, lads. And I think the key word for this review is surprising. Because he surprised me. He really, really did. Like I did say, when I, when I did see the card, I was like, oh, Sammy Kadira really, it's like, uh, it could have been a better player, could have been this player, could have been that player, could have been the other player. That he's a good player on this game. Sammy Kadira is really, really good. He, he surprised me in the sense of he can attack and he can defend. And he's a great box to box. He just, he lacks in certain areas. Acceleration being one, agility being the other. And if you combine those two, if someone runs past you, you're screwed. You really, really are. Because you've got to turn, you've got to chase. This guy doesn't really turn or chase in that scenario. Uh, he can shoot. He can pass. My good God, can he pass? Uh, he can dribble in terms of the slow, like the slow dribble. His ball control is 88. His reaction is 88. His dribbling is 87. His composure is 91. So he's very good in the dribbling section, especially when doing like the, the, the kind of turns, the ball control, this, that, the other, and spreading it from one foot to the other to maybe spring a pass and hammer it forwards uh, because he's passing. Uh, I'll go back to that sensational so all in all Sammy Kadira surprisingly good surprisingly good so I will give him the overall rating of a 9.1 do I reckon you should do this SBC now I'm not going to tell you what to do with your coins on this game because that's just not fair for me to do but the value for coins in my my senses of the words I would do them CDMs in Serie A you've got Kessie um you've got Kessie Are you got any more um, I'm not too sure you got any more, but Sammy Kadira is possibly the best option for a CDM and a box to box within that league. Oh, also you got Raja Nine Golan players like that, but um, Sammy Kadira is a great alternative, and he does hybridize off into different nations, different leagues. Uh, of course, he's German, so he links to Bundesliga. A lot of Bundesliga players. Premier League links to Timo Werner. Uh, he could link to a, at, uh, Kai Havertz as well. Very, very good links. Uh, Leroy Sané in the Bundesliga. He's got some good links about him. So value coins for 140k. It's not that bad. It really wasn't that bad, especially given how surprising it was. Like my preemptive review on this card would have been value for coins that is far far too much and i would probably give him like a seven but having used him 
I see the value in this player. I really, really do. As for the enjoyment he gets to 9.0, I just loved his, uh, his willingness to get in on the ball, get his foot on the ball, spread the ball, win the ball back. He was just an all-action midfielder at the end of the day. Played three games, and he got 7.5, 7.8, and 6.7. Um, I've been over his links. I've been over the similar player. It's Kessie today. I reckon he's better than Kessie. I do reckon he's better than Kessie. And uh, Kessie's price was really, really, really... Uh, Overpriced when he first came out as well. Kipro will be his defensive player, and he's kind of all-round midfield player to be honest. Uh, his kick on will be the acceleration, best camp style. Shadow takes him right in per position from an 86 to a 93 centre back, a 92 CDM, a 91 right back, a 90 right wing back, and an 89 centre midfielder. Key pros or the pros in general, the positioning defensively and midfielder Lee. Because, honestly, he just positioned himself really well on the pitch for the interceptions. Interceptions will be one of them too. Aggression strength sensational and his passing is sublime acceleration he gets um a con for that he gets a con for agility too uh passing eight seven for shooting and dribbling with a nine for physical this guy's a specimen but lads thank you very much for joining me on this review of sammy kadira i will try and get bamba done I reckon he's far, far too expensive at this moment in time, but having a look at these stats, he looks like an outstanding player and uh, definitely another left winger, another left winger uh, capable of getting a team. So I'll look to do that for tomorrow. But thank you very much for watching this review. If there's any other reviews that you do want to see, simply let me know in the comment section below. I'll like, get that done ASAP. But thank you very much for watching. Have a great rest of your day wherever you are in the world. Like, comment, subscribe, and I will catch you all next time.